Hi everyone, my name is Zafar Siyab Khan Masood and this video is based on my fluid mechanics lab report. This is being supervised by my instructor engineer Muhammad Salman. Before we proceed, I want to clear up a few things. This report is based on five different experiments. This one is solely dedicated to only one of these experiments. And the other experiments, they have been mentioned below in the description. You can visit their links. And lastly, each one of these experiments is then subdivided into three different parts. First of all, we will explain and name the parts of the apparatus. Second, we explain the procedure, how the experiment has been performed. And third but not least, we give you all the lab observation and calculations we made. Hope that sums up all the confusion. Enjoy. Okay, so let's start by naming a few parts of this apparatus. The first one is the inlet pipe where the water enters the system, the velocity and the pressure head scales, which I will tell a bit later on, the orifice tank, and the overflow pipe, which by the name tells that the extra water flows out. This is the circular orifice located at the bottom. And yes, the micrometer screw gauge, where each revolution equals to one millimeter. This is how the micrometer screw gauge actually works. By revolving the lever, it mo only moves in the forward and the backward direction like in a to and a fro motion. This manometer connected to the piezometer shows us the static pressure head, while this manometer connected to the pitot tube shows us the velocity head. We can have a better look of these two pipes from this angle. Okay, like before, we adjust the control valve and let the water flow in. We do have to take care that the flow isn't too fast that might cause instability or too slow which won't give any proper readings. Okay, now as the water level has been stable we can now proceed to the second point. For the second part, you need to move the needle through the water jet from one side to the other side. Now note down the pitot tube and the venturi meter readings. 